Hey everybody, this is Ryan Angelo from LostReviews.com and this is our review of Wonderlust. This place is incredible. I actually feel like I'm a part of something that's real. What is this? Ayahuasca tea. Reeks like a cat butt. It has hallucinogenic properties. I can fly! You can't fly! I believe I can fly! If you're gonna get literal with an R. Kelly song, let the dude trapped in the closet! Wanderlust. So, I'm light on your bio. You know, man, is it cool if maybe we talk about this later? Take your time. Um, the film stars Paul Rudd and Jennifer Aniston as a lovely young couple from New York. And they've pretty much uh, had it, I guess. Lots of troubles. They well, can't afford their, their apartment. Yeah, their studio apartment. Their micro loft. Micro loft. Is what they're calling Let's them these call days. Let's call it what it really is. Um, they lose their jobs. You know, like it's you know the economy's bad, so you can relate to that, and a lot a lot of people can relate to that right, right away. So they immediately pack up and think they're going to move to Atlanta to live with Paul Rudd's brother, who is a jerk face. Right. Um, which is hilarious. Played by. Um, Ken Marino. Yeah, the guy from Party Down. Yeah. That pukes all over himself and needs an ambulance. Loved it. And he also wrote this. Um, so he goes down, well, they're headed down there to get to them, but they never make it. They um, end up pulling off to a small little place to stay for the night because they're just sick of driving. And it's this um, con Hippie it's a convent, convent commune. commune? Yeah. Um, yeah, called Elysium. Yeah. Uh, which that's right there where the hilarity starts for me because you have a nude man. Chasing them down yes. the road, causes them to flip their car over. You can see that in the trailer, and it just it go it escalates from there. The madness and chaos of living with these free loving hippies with didgeridoos and bongs everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> it's just it's like <laughs> laugh wine out loud. With pubes. It is laugh out loud hilarious. There's so many comedians starring in smaller roles throughout this film. Yeah, that and you can spot them everywhere. That's the problem really that I had with this, because I feel like Paul Rudd can carry his own movie now. Especially in the scenes, there's one specific scene where we get one-on-one -on -one time with Paul Rudd. The and bathroom he's so scene. great. And it's the funniest scene that I've seen in a long time. I think I peed. Yeah. I think I peed a little. I'm just gonna be honest. This will replace his line of slapping the bass. That is gone. Well, and now it's this. this is I don't the, want to ruin it. This though. is the not safe for work version of that. Yes. For the things that yes. he says. Uh, yeah, I'm saying this all the time now. It's so, so funny. Like, it was just, it's one of those scenes that you can tell they just left the camera running and they said, you know, well, these will end up in outtakes. We'll just take the yeah. best ones for the film. And he just kept going and going and going. And it's, it's, the, it's the insanity of that scene just repeating over and over and over again that you just, like, you lose it and you you laughing so hard. Yeah so long with him. Like, it's, I don't even think I heard half of it because I was tearing up and just la screaming laughing. Well, it's uh, director David Wynn, uh -huh. Wayne, uh, Wayne, Wayne uh, taking uh, cues from Judd Apatow. Mm -hmm. Let the scene play out. Right. Just, just film all this improv to acting. And uh, Paul Rudd is so, so good he at is. that. So good. And I wish we had more of him in it, but yet we we bounce around to a whole bunch of different actors, yeah. a lot of which, you know, it's it's just, you know, TV actors, the two guys that are on the new Comedy Central show. Key and Peel. Yeah. And then uh, the lady from Reno. Reno 911. You've also got the cast of Stella on there. Yeah, the complete cast as the news anchors. Yeah. So I wish that we could have just focused more on his inner character and to me, that's what makes movies like, you know, David's other film, Role Models, not add up to Apatow's actual films. Like I Love You Man or something? Yeah. Well, I don't know so, if that's his, but, but I still really enjoy the film. I really like all these comedians, and it wasn't distracting to me where I thought, oh, that's me, Michael Ian Black. Oh, I really want to go home and watch some Stella episodes or something. You know, nothing like that popped into my head. It was just a quick recogni rec uh, recognizing of who it was and then just laughing at what kind of joke he was going to make there. And it was almost as if um, a lot of it was ad-lib, it seemed. Right. Which I also liked. Now, I don't feel like this movie... I mean, I'm going to come out and say right now, while I didn't love the movie, I, I enjoyed it a lot. And I laughed like crazy during mm -hmm. this. Uh, so it was a bit distracting, like, say, the Stella scene. That felt 
to me like we're watching an episode of Stella. <laughs> but the the film so works, small. and it, it wasn't deserving to be shelved for as long as it was. No, I'm, I'm not quite sure why it was shelved, but there, the one problem that I'll point out with the film is there was some editing that needed to be fixed up. There was some focusing in some of those yeah. shots where it, uh, the, the aperture focus was actually on the wrong thing in the scene. You should have been staring at Jennifer Aniston and Paul Rudd. Instead, you're focused on a horse in the background, right. so it was a little odd. And you know, it wasn't it wasn't because like we we had this mesmerizing scene with great lines and just this improv to joke that yeah, really can't works. Can't be repeated. That yeah, it was just regular one on one dialogue that could have just been reshot. Yeah, I noticed so, it at least twice, maybe three times, and I, I it kind of pulled me out a little bit, thinking, well, yeah. what's going on there? And you could tell it wasn't like a projector problem because there were parts of the scene that were in focus, just right. the wrong parts. Yeah, and there, there's a couple things like with color correction, but I think when we get too deep into that, no, I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to delve too into that. Snobby asshole. Yeah, critics. because there's also a, there's also a. a a manically insane guitar scene but, but of a funny. man that has CG hands, like a green screen. Somebody's doing the guitar in the hands. It's like green screen over him. It's so obvious. Yeah, but it, it but makes it, it adds funnier. to the hilarity. I think overall, though, I really enjoyed this movie. I it, really it liked was, it. It was funny. Not as funny as some of my other favorite comedies. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna give this three gigantic penises <laughs> out of five. There's. There's quite a lot of penis in this film, just FYI. So, and old man nudity too at yeah. times. So, um, I really, really needed a laugh. I needed to have a break from reality when I went to this film, and that's exactly what it delivered for me. I laughed my butt off for 98 minutes straight, just pretty much. And I, I wasn't really disappointed in any fact of it. I mean, it didn't really lag at all for me. There were small, small parts, but they were few minutes here and there. It was mostly just back-to-back -back humor. And then besides those small little editing scenes, I would watch this a f film, you know, Again and again, probably. I'm going to give it four didgeridoos out of five. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> we didn't quite agree on how good it was, yeah. but I think we can both say that, I mean, if this is your choice this weekend to go see in the theaters, mm -hmm. yeah, you'll enjoy yourself. I would, yeah, and I've already been recommending this to people. Like, go see it. If you want to laugh, if you want to have a good time, like, seriously, it's not money wasted, in my opinion. No, no. So, uh, we're suggesting Wonderlust. And we will see you next time on Lost Reviews. Bye.